Hi, my name is Malcolm Roach, and today we're going to discuss how to track and bill for equipment usage in our ODT Rentals app. So, important to point out that regardless of whether you intend to track usage only for maintenance purposes or for billing, you still need to go to the rental group card and set up the default usage flag. If you look on the screen here with our little uh, excavator on the side, you'll see that we've got a group set up for excavators and down below on the usage tab, we've turned on metered usage enabled and we've said the base unit of measure is our, which would be appropriate for excavators. If we look at an actual unit just by going one card to the right, you'll see that this one is actually tracking a current meter reading from prior, prior transactions with this unit. So once you turn that flag on, regardless of whether you're billing for it or not, Every time you ship the unit and every time you return the unit, you'll be asked to input a metered usage reading. Now, something I'd just like to mention in the rental system, we only track the one meter reading currently, but in the service side, we can actually track unlimited meters. So that's appropriate in a situation, for example, where you have a truck or the truck itself is running miles or kilometers on the odometer, but the on the back of the truck, you might have a crane that is tracking hours. And each of those can drive its own plan maintenance function. So, um, you know, the truck every 8,000 miles, you're doing an oil change, you're up on the on the crane, maybe every, every 500 hours, you have to do an inspection and an oil change. Like whatever you want to set up in the plan maintenance is entirely up to you, but they can be driven off the two different numbers on that combined unit. Okay, so now we're going to go check how the pricing gets set up or how the actual pricing and usage gets set up. So to check the pricing of these, we'll move back to the rental group where the pricing is attached at the header level and the units will just inherit the pricing and set up from the parent. And we'll go up to rental, rental prices, and you'll see we've already got some prices sitting in here. So we've got some day, week, month set up for four different customers. I just want to point out here, these rental terms codes, these, these are set up that way in our database, just so that as a tester or demo person, we know what the options are that go with that. In your business, because you'll likely only have one set of options, you can use week, day, month, DWM, whatever your choice is, you can create your own simpli simplified codes. In our case, a PE opt month means, P means I'm going to potentially bill you for recurring periods, like several months at a time, or, I mean, over the course of the contract, uh, E means I bill you at the end of the period and optimize means I've got best pricing turned on and month means what it means, except that a month can be a calendar month, it can be 28 days. Those are the two most common options. Okay, so if we look at customer 10,000, they've got day, week, month prices of $75 per day, $225 per week, $600 per month. And with best pricing turned on, the system will automatically use those numbers to calculate the best price for the customers. That's not the point of this video, so I won't spend too much time in that. But attached to each one of these is where we see our maintenance or, or our, uh, our plan maintenance setup. In other words, how are, what are we doing with metered usage? So if I go look at the month for customer 10,000, my metered usage is not turned on because customer 10,000 is not going to pay for usage, okay? If we go look at the monthly one for customer 20,000, in this case, they're going to pay $10 an hour. The flag is turned on, it's set to month, and they're gonna pay $10 an hour for every hour of usage, okay? If we look at the next customer and go down to the month for 30,000, they are going to get 160 hours for free in that month. And then the next ones are going to be billed through at $20 an hour, okay? And then finally, the fourth option is saying, hey, you know what, I'm gonna charge for every hour. And so for the first 160 hours, it's gonna be $10 an hour. The next 160 is gonna be $20 an hour and anything over that's gonna be 30. So you can set up your metered usage as not being required at all. You can set it up for one level, two levels, and three levels, and you can choose to set your parameters, whatever you want. If you don't want to give them 160 for a month, you give them 80, you give them 240, you know, it's entirely your choice. Okay. So all of that setup is available to you. And you'll notice that this is all against the same equipment. So you can give different prices to different customers and different treatments of metered usage based upon how good of a customer or how valuable of a customer they are to you. 
So in other words, customer 10,000 would theoretically be the most valuable customer because you're not charging for usage at all, okay? So now we're gonna go actually put these into some rental contracts and see how they look. So we'll do a new rental contract, type in 10,000, pick an excavator, quantity one, you see the prices drop in that we saw before. Now we'll actually go pick a unit. And I'd like to point out that you can ship these units in, in other ways in the system, either through a more of a warehouse or yard function or even through dispatch. Um, I'm just doing them directly from the contract because I'm here and you can see what I'm doing. So we'll now pick a unit from here and we'll pick the first one, 344. That's the one we looked at before. And if we scroll to the right, if you remember, it had a current meter reading of 125 hours, okay? Now, if you're happy with that number, you don't have to update it, but if somebody had it running for a couple hours, maybe the boss took it home for the weekend for you know two or three hours, then you just come in and say 128, it would pop up and say, okay, what was the reason for that? And I'll just say it's a miscellaneous adjustment. So now it's gonna be set to 128. I would have now updated the uh, rental unit card. Okay, we're going to print this out now just to get it, see what the confirmation looks like. We'll hit print, show alternate prices, preview. And if you remember in customer 10,000, there was no usage, zero dollars per hour. Okay. All right. So let's create another rental contract. And uh, this one is going to be 20,000. Okay, let's we'll pick an excavator. On the one, got our prices. And we'll pick a unit now. And this time we'll pick the second one. And it too should have a balance already. It's 135 hours. And that's what it was the last time it came in. We'll leave that one alone here, but let's see what it looks like when we print it. So we go print, make sure the alternate prices are showing. We get preview expanded a bit and the meter to usage is ten dollars an hour now you notice where it says level one uh, those terms are user defined so when you go to set up the system if you're using one two or three levels you can actually change that description you can call it usage you can call it included amount you can call it whatever you like okay but this one right now we're charging ten dollars an hour for everything so let's go back and see what happens now we'll ship that Okay, and then we'll change the date to the proper return date. We'll go put in a new metered usage total and say that we're ready to return this. Okay, and let's just try printing this right now and see what that looks like. And you'll see here, it's expecting to charge you 320 hours for that metered usage. So 32 extra hours from 135 to 167 was 32 hours times $10 an hour. Your total billing will be 920, okay? And if you're doing this over several months, you know how it goes. You send a piece of equipment to the field. Uh, you may not find out the meter usage till the end. The system will actually say, well, you were entitled to X amount per month. It'll actually give you those allowances or it'll, it'll add it all up and figure out how much should be priced out at the different levels if you have multiple levels. So you don't have to have a meter reading at the end of every month in a longer term rental. The system will retroactively calculate what it would be for all of those periods. Make sure the customer does not get overcharged. Okay, so we would now be able to ship this, but really showing you that uh, already shows you how that works. We'll do another one. And this time we'll pick customer 30,000. Pick the excavators again. Quantity of one. Pick a unit. Let's check to see if it's got a meter reading. It does, so we don't have to enter one. It'll warn us if we if we pick one that doesn't, and maybe I'll do that for the next one. And now if we come along and ship that. Okay, and then we'll change this to the expected return date. We'll update the meter reading. Maybe it's 175. And now what happens if we print it? So let's go see what that looks like. 
Okay, so now we've got 65 hours that are all included at zero dollars. Because remember, this one on level one was going to get zero price on it. And so, because he had an allowance, so there won't be any extra charge to this customer. Okay, now let's go look at an example where somebody gets charged for every period or every level, and there's three levels. So we're going to do a new rental contract for customer 40,000 and just check out uh, being with the usage of over 320 hours in a monthly period. Okay, so we'll pick our excavator again. Quantity of one. See if our unit's got a uh, BICA unit. And we can always check on the right hand side if we need to to see if we've got one. Uh, here's one with the balance. Okay, it's got 100 on it. Ship this. Okay, now we want to return it. So we'll change the return date there. And we'll come over here and we will change our current meter reading to 350 hours of usage, so 450 in total. Okay, let's see what this looks like now when we print it. You can see we got three levels. We got 160 at $10 an hour, 160 at $20 an hour, and the extra 30 was at $30. So you add all those up, you come to $6,300 billing for the month. Okay, so very flexible. Uh, one, two, three levels uh, for our billing. And then, of course, as I mentioned earlier, the actual metered usage will then flow through to the plan maintenance for generating ticket service tickets or plan maintenance tickets. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much.